We're back and we're grilling meat again. I know what you're thinking. You can leave a comment about that. But it's the Humping Grill. This is a charcoal tabletop grill that is supposed to reduce smoking by 90%. Portable, very easy to use. And I'm very skeptical because with charcoal, you shouldn't really obviously use it indoors because it smokes a lot, the smell, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But if it works, Dude, that's amazing. Then that means I can do Korean barbecue at home with real charcoal indoors. If it doesn't really work indoors, then I don't see the point of having this just for outdoor use because in that case, why does it need to be smokeless? For the whopping price of $200, that wouldn't really make sense. You could just use a regular grill. Let's see if it works. You don't need electricity. It's battery operated and that's for the fan. It's already pretty much assembled for you. This is a grill. This is where you put in your charcoal. This is where your, your fat will drip and live. And it looks like the fan is inside this device. It's very, very simple. Kind of weird because where is the smoke actually going? I'm not sure. All of the marketing around this, the videos and etc. you see online, they're using this indoors. But obviously on the manual, it says for outdoor use only. And that's probably because of liability issues. So this product is made in Korea. They wanted to build a product that uses charcoal that you can use on your tabletop at home. But we'll see how it does. Then we'll put it right in here. Okay. And the fan is blowing into the charcoal. So the more air that's blowing on the charcoal, the hotter the grill is getting. So it's only one control element for the exhaust and the fan. Top on, our grill on. And then let this preheat before adding our protein. To test this, we're gonna do burgers because it has a lot of fat, so we wanna test the smoke level. And then we'll do some Korean barbecue because I feel like this is built for Korean barbecue. Some salt, a little bit of pepper, and we're just gonna go for it. Is it suctioning? I don't think it's suctioning. This just seems like a normal grill. But to put that to test, let's turn the fan lower and see if there's more smoke happening. And then you turn on the fan. Yeah, this is not smokeless. So it reduces it by like 20% maybe, but I wouldn't say 90%. There needs to be some sort of technology that like really pulls it with an exhaust. Like there needs to be somewhere where the smoke is going. But I don't feel it's suctioning either. Another concern that I do have is that the outer ring of the grill, it's not hot at all. So you're gonna get uneven cooking. Oh. The fat from the burger is dripping onto the charcoal and creating a ton of smoke right now. It's definitely not delivering on the smokelessness. So I'm a little bit disappointed. So we're gonna do the Korean barbecue and call it a day. And at least I can enjoy some short ribs. The placement where you put the charcoal is just not big enough to add more, more charcoal in the first place. And if you see, we filled the placement to the max with charcoal, and it's still not that hot. And I hate when you see little bubbles happening when you're grilling meat, because that just means that it's boiling. It's not really searing that well. Just a weird design. I think the only thing that I like about this so far is that it's cute. It's, it's really not hot, so you could kind of like walk around. You're like, hey, do you want some Korean barbecue while it's grilling? You can walk around with a charcoal grill. I wouldn't recommend doing this at home though because <laughs> it's still charcoal in there. With a normal charcoal grill, there's normally like a lever on the bottom where all the dust falls out of and you can like kind of help it. But with this, you have to take the top off then remove all the charcoal and then remove all that dust and then put it back in. It's just a lot of work for something that's so simple. I'm gonna have a bite, but it really doesn't matter because I'm not the biggest fan of this. 
but that's good. Yummy. I, I can't see why this is necessary over a regular charcoal grill. You should not use this indoors at all. So the manual is right. Do not use this indoors. It's completely smoky. So this is the second Korean barbecue product that I've tried testing. And as, I, as much as I want it to work, it's just fell so short and I'm really sad. So my hunt continues for the best indoor Korean barbecue product. Let me know in the comments, maybe you guys know what the best indoor grilling product is. Thanks for watching guys. Till the next product, click here.